Hello and welcome to the Bankers View from the ADB Preview, looking ahead to the ADB annual meeting in Fiji this year. I'm Kimberly Lung, Asia Editor of the Banker, and I'm here today with Ginny Yan, Chief China Economist and Managing Director at ICBC Standard Bank. Hi Ginny, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Kimberly. So just to start with, I wanted to ask if we're seeing such a slowdown in China now in terms of growth. Is this something that should be a cause of concern for the rest of Asia? Absolutely. As a region, uh, Asia is actually most connected to China. Um, and uh, when I talk about connectivity, it's not just in terms of trade, investment, which, which is probably the topics that most people talk about when mm. we're talking about connectivity with China. It's also about the people flows. So these are the economic connectivity that Asia has with China. So of course, a slowdown of China will impact Asia as a region even more so than any other region in the world. Mm -hmm. And I think that should be a cause for concern, not just for policymakers, but also for consumers globally, because obviously the supply chains are very much, uh, you know, around Asia. And this is crucial for both China and the rest of Asia. So how has the Belt and Road Initiative been impacting across Asia and also thinking about the location of the ADB this, meeting, this year, how is that impacting the Pacific Islands as well? Well, I think there's a lot of talk about Belt and Road Initiative. And I think um, particularly here in the West, what we tend to talk about are the perhaps uh, some of the concerns around debt sustainability and also around the, uh, I guess, the success of some of the project financing. Now, we need to be very balanced here, whether it's about Belt and Road specifically or about overall project financing uh, overall, because a lot of concerns are actually about you know how well managed uh, projects are a lot of Belt and Road uh, initiative projects are indeed infrastructure and they are uh, obviously contractual between governments and government and so the transparency issues uh, and uh, around management I think those are some of the concerns that do need to be made aware of however we don't hear about the good things uh, actually that come out and the initiative itself is about boosting infrastructure spending boosting connectivity and also uh, economic flows around uh, globally actually and this is needed right now in particular so I think we do need to be balanced on our view here about the Belt and Road Initiative. And you've already touched slightly on levels of debt there and we hear a lot about growing levels of debt across Asia. Is this something also that we should be concerned about? I think we need to be very wary about the level of debt, um, not the least because after the global financial crisis, a lot of emerging economies, particularly frontier economies, started to over leverage. So they're facing twin uh, deficits, so fiscal balance and also current account deficits. And of course, it's up to the governments and policymakers to make sure that the debt levels are sustainable. Clearly, for smaller economies, particularly island states, this is of particular concern. And this is where multilateral institutions need to perhaps assist um, and also other professional services need to come and manage the situation. So it's both sides of a coin. It's about um, how to better assist uh, the policymakers as well as civil society about the realisation that such uh, twin deficits are, are not sustainable. Talking about sustainability, but maybe from looking at it from a different aspect, it's a really big theme this year at the ADB, I think, with the Pacific Islands, the, um, the environment is such a growing concern for them. So do you really think that there could be, is a possibility for the continuing growth of Asia to also be sustainable? Is that something that they can go hand in hand? Well, it has to go hand in hand. Unfortunately, what we're facing here today is that if we don't do something about uh, the sustainability of growth, uh, well, our next generations will be facing uh, um, uh, much more difficulties. So I think whenever policymakers talk about growth, we need to think about sustainability, mm -hmm. and which is why all of the initiatives and policy uh, policymakers I need to we need to really integrate su sustainability with growth models, with uh, financial uh, uh, models. Um, and uh, for investors also to think about sustainability. Often or not, we face this kind of greenwashing or sustainability washing in that it's something that someone else has to think about. Mm -hmm. But particularly here at ADB, I think it's a great opportunity for policymakers and uh, you know, other stakeholders to embrace the fact that we need to integrate that with policymaking and investment. 
Roberts. Okay, thanks very much, Jenny. I'm sure there'll be a lot of really interesting discussion at the ADB this year around those topics. Thanks very much. Thank you very much.